Hi guys, in this video I'm going to go over variable declaration, initialization and assignment. So let's start out by declaring a variable. In this case I use a variable of type int called number. So this is the data type or the variable type that I choose. Int are whole numbers. Then I use an identifier. This is a variable name that I give to refer to that variable. And then the semicolon to end the declaration. So here I declare a variable. What this will do is it will allocate memory space to store values of type int. And I refer to that memory space with, with the name number. So now what I can do is I can initialize this number uh, this variable by writing number equals and some integer value, for example, 5. So what this will do is it will store 5 in the variable number. Um, so now I have some memory space. I have stored 5 in it. I can read it and output it, for example. So here I can do C out number. This will output the number 5 to the console. Um, so it will not output number since I didn't put in double quotes. It will actually use the variable, read the value that is stored in the variable, and then take the value and output it. Um, I can combine these things as well. So I can have declaration and initialization in the same line. For example, int, um, let's call it num, equals 3. So here I declare a variable first of type int. It will allocate the memory space to store integers. And then I will take the 3 and store that 3 in that memory space. So this is declaration and initialization um, combined. I can do this with other variables too. So I could have, let me actually add it up here. So when we have a character, I have type letter, I can declare it. And then later I can initialize it. Initialize it. For example, I store character B in it. Or I can do it the, in, in a single line. I declare a variable of type char. I call this character and I initialize it with the character question mark. So this really goes for any data type. We can do it for float as well. So if I have float score, and then I assign a score later, or I can do that in a single line. So float score two, equals 38.2, for example. So all these numbers, I just make uh, come up with them right now. So they, they don't really mean anything. I just randomly pick those numbers. Now, what you notice probably is that the numbers, I the, the, the identifiers that I used up here for the variable declaration, I, I didn't use the same ones down here when I do declaration and initialization. Now that has not, the, the reason for this is that once we declare a variable, that variable exists and it continues to exist until the end of our program. Or if we have it inside another code block, it would end at the end of the code block. So in this case, the code block is our entire program, so it would end at the end of the program. Now, if I were to write here number again, this would give you me an error message. And it would say, I have a redefinition of the variable number. So that is the reason why I pick different um, identifiers down here. So remember that once you declare a variable, you can have a variable of the same name because that would the, the computer wouldn't know how to distinguish them. So this is for a variable declaration. Initialization is essentially the very first assignment. And then we have the combined declaration and initialization. Now, let's talk about assignment. 
So assignments means assigning a value. Essentially, initialization is an assignment. It's a very first assignment. So without initialization, we just have a variable space or memory space without actually a value in it. There's a value, but we really don't know. It's, it's probably some kind of garbage. So it would not be cleaned up. It would really just say, this is the memory space I give you. Here you can store an integer, and it's up to you to make sure there's a proper integer declared. So let's go over assignment. So we uh, initialize these values up here. Now I can do, for example, number equals three. So I update the number, the value that I have in my number variable from five to three. Or I could do something number equals num. So what this will do is it will read the value that I have in num, happens to be three as well, but it would take that value and then store that value also in number. So it copies the value from here to here. Or I could do some, some other arithmetic say I want to get the existing value that I have in number and I want to add two to it and then when I, after I added two to it I want to take the result and store it back in my number variable. So with an assignment I really can do all kinds of calculations and update the value, value and manipulate that variable and store the result back inside it. I, I could do the same here so, so really any arithmetic operations, which I'll cover in another video, but I can do these here and then update the, the value of the variable. Now I can do the same with, with characters. I can update the characters. If I have question mark, I can use an assignment um, to store another character. So really assignments are a way of um, updating variable values. And with these assignments, I also showed you how I can read other values. So here I read the value in num and I assign it to the number variable. Or here I read number and in the same statement I assigned the result of this arithmetic operations. So we can read and write all these values in our programs. Um, an important thing is that we cannot um, we, we, we cannot read values before from a variable before it has been initialized. So if I have a, 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 a variable char, for example, and I call this, let's say gender, to store the gender, and then I output this. This would give me an error because it would say the variable gender is uninitialized and I try to use it here. So it, it, it wouldn't know what to output. It doesn't know what's in it. So we have to make sure whenever we have variables that we do initialize them, either in a single line, like we did here, where, it's, where the variable is declared, or after some time, once we know the value. So sometimes we don't know the value when we declare it. Like if, if I want, want to ask the user to enter some value here, I will just declare the variable and then ask the user enter a value and then read that value into the variable. So I hope this gives you some ideas of, of how to declare and how to initialize and how to assign values to variables. And thank you for watching.